This video is sponsored by Pathfinder LED. This is my 2018 Honda Goldwing Tour DCT, and next to it is the newer 2022 Honda Goldwing DCT in blue. Is it worth selling or trading my motorcycle for the newer Goldwing? Do I stick with my 2018 Honda Goldwing, or do I move up to the 2022 or even the 2023 Goldwing? That is the subject of today's video. So if you currently own a 2018, 2019, or 2020 Honda Goldwing, you have to decide if it's going to be worth the money to move up to a 2021, 2022, or 2023 Goldwing. If you're thinking about buying a used Goldwing, is it better to buy a 2018, a 2019, or 2020, or should you spend the extra money to get the newer 2021, 2022, and 2023? Honda made some changes in 2021 that make this an important decision. Starting with the 2021 Goldwing, Honda gave it a larger trunk, much larger. They also made the trunk rack much easier to install than before. They increased the passenger seat angle and added more padding. The seat also has updated finish and new trim. The speaker output was increased to 45 watts. The XM antenna is now standard equipment in 2021 and later models, as are the Honda fog lights. Tail light lenses have been updated to all red LEDs. 2021 and 2022 models got some new duotone paint schemes. And in 2021, the very popular DCT transmission got some tweaks as well. So there are some compelling arguments to be made for moving from a 2018 through 2020 Goldwing up to a 2021 to 2023 Honda Goldwing. For me personally, the biggest thing I would see a benefit from would be that larger trunk. One of my greatest frustrations is with the trunk size of this 2018 Goldwing. And after riding this new 2022 Goldwing around with that 61 liter trunk, it's made a huge difference. Also, after spending some time riding this 2022 Goldwing, I have noticed some difference in the DCT transmission. It does shift smoother both upshifts and downshifts. Another consideration is paint color. I actually love this two-tone blue that they had in 2022. There's a lot of controversy about this geometric pinstripe they used to separate the dark blue from the lighter blue. And it would make repairing one of these panels a nightmare if it ever got damaged. I recognize that, but I actually kind of like the look of it. I think it's just different and kind of cool. Tell me what you think of the pinstripe in the comments down below. I'm not a big fan of the 2023 color choices. Honda only offers the black, which also has some matte black in it, along with the blacked out pipes, which I'm not really crazy about. And they've gone back to the original Ardent Red from 2018, which also is not one of my favorite colors. The only paint I've seen that I really like better than my white 2018 Goldwing is the two-tone blue 2022. But as much as I love this two-tone blue paint job, it's not without some issues. On this press bike from Honda that I've been testing, I found some really dull spots. Look at the rear view mirror mounts. Look at how dull that paint is. It's like they didn't even put any clear coat on this part of the paint. I could not live with that. And then I have to consider what I'm going to give up when I get rid of my 2018. Like that wonderful F4 Customs windshield, I'd have to go back to the smaller stock Honda windshield. Of course, I could swap that out. Then there's the upper air deflectors from Honda. One more thing I would have to install on that new 2022 Goldwing that doesn't come with them. I'd also have to give up that Pathfinder LED multifunction trunk rack light. While we're on the subject of lighting, 
You know, you can never be too rich, too thin, or have too much lighting on your motorcycle. Pathfinder LED is the brand that I've been using on my Goldwing for years, as do my viewers. They offer high-performance lighting products for the 2018 and later Goldwing. Even if you ride an older Goldwing, they have great lighting for the 2001 to 2017, F6B models, and even the GL1500. Pathfinder LED lights are super bright, and these are the guys that brought the dynamic braking and sequential LED technology to the wing. Pathfinder LED products are easy to install, and they're closely integrated to that OEM styling, so they look like something that came right out of the factory. And I was just told, right before making this video, that Pathfinder LED will be releasing a new ultra-sleek, multi-function LED spoiler for the 2021 and later model that should be available by the end of the year. I can't wait to see that. Be sure to check out all the Pathfinder LED products using the link below. And I'm also going to put links in the description of the video. Thank you, Pathfinder LED, for making this video possible. Of course, I'd have to reinstall a trailer hitch onto this 2022 or 2023 Goldwing. And let's not forget about the Muth signal mirrors, which I absolutely love. And while I'd have to reinstall a rider backrest on that new Goldwing, I do kind of like the looks and the feel of this new seat. It really is a step up from the 2018. I could live with the Honda fog lights, but I can't give up my Pathfinder cowl lights. I love those. The factory turn signal lenses in the front are kind of boring. I really do love these from add-on accessories. I think they really look cool. So is it really worth all the time, the effort, the energy, and not to mention the money to move from this 2018 Honda Goldwing, which I love, to go to the newer 2022 or 2023 Goldwing. Well, the 2023 is kind of out because I don't like any of the colors they offer. So that really leaves me with a 2022 if I could still find a new one in blue. Is it worth it? And the answer for me is probably yes. Just having the updated DCT transmission, having a newer bike with a newer warranty, and don't forget that bigger trunk. That trunk is a really big deal for someone like me. I love having the ability to put my helmet in there without having to turn it on its side or lay it down. Yeah, I'd have to install a bunch of new accessories. I'd have to move some things from my 2018 over to the 2022, but I would do it. Now, if you're in the market for a used sixth generation Goldwing, is it worth the extra money to go with a 2021, 22, or 23 over a 2018, 19, or 20? Well, that's really going to be a personal decision for you. For me, it's probably worth it because I love that bigger trunk. I like the two-tone paint colors that were offered in 21 and 22. And all of the little extra things that Honda threw in in this more recent version since 2021, I think are well worth the extra money. And plus, you're getting a newer motorcycle with a newer warranty that's going to last longer. And don't forget that bigger trunk. That really is a huge, huge deal. My only real criticism is that Honda didn't make this a no-brainer decision. It's something I really have to think about because they didn't really put enough compelling reasons to buy a 2023 over just keeping my 2018, and they really had an opportunity to do that. If they had updated the GPS with a more robust, visually appealing system, if they had done something to modify that TFT screen so it was a little more customizable, or even if they had just updated Bluetooth so that the Bluetooth connectivity for the headsets was better, it would be a no-brainer decision. But instead, I'm left thinking, is it really worth it, or should I just keep what I have? 
So I want to know what you think. Do you think this 2022 or even the 2023 Goldwing is worth the extra money? If you own a Goldwing now, are you thinking about upgrading to the newer year model? Or are you just going to keep the one you have? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that little subscribe button down below. Don't forget the notification bell. That way they'll notify you when we come out with new videos. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That really helps our rankings on YouTube. It's much, much appreciated. Now, I want to thank Honda for loaning me this motorcycle so that I can review it. There will be some more videos coming on this 2022-2023 Goldwing, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks again for joining me today, and thank you to Pathfinder LED for sponsoring this video. Remember... No matter what you ride, ride often, but ride safe.